Hey everyone! As you can see, Newt and I are still making our way out into the wilds. A bit of advice for our friends on the East Coast, we heard that they were nuking all the cities up and down the eastern seaboard, so this would be a perfect time for you to get out and take that trip into the wilderness that you've been dying to have. You know, just because the world's at an end, doesn't mean you have to abandon all your developing culinary talents, but there's no way you're going to track some Weber grill out into a zombie infested forest and expect to survive. The solution? A custom mini portable apocalypse grill. Here's what you're going to need. A tuna can, a number 10 tin can, some tin snips, some cardboard, some wax, I prefer beeswax, you can use whatever you find, and one of those old fashioned can openers people used to use before electric can openers. As a note, you're going to want to burn out the epoxy resin coating on the inside of your can. I've already done this with my can using some gas. Now here's where it gets fun. Step one, cut a long strip of cardboard, pretty long, and roll it up real tight, kind of like a fruit roll. Put the fruit roll down into the can. This is basically going to serve as a large wick. Step two, adding the wax. You can melt it using another apocalypse grill. I don't know how you made that one. Or you can use the main grill at your base camp, which makes sense. Be sure to leave some of the cardboard exposed so you have something to light, about an eighth of an inch or so. Then just let it cool and harden. That's your burner, buddy. Step three, adding awesomeness. You can place your finished burner underneath the larger tin can. Cut out the side of the large can, poke some smoke holes on the top rim of the can with your cool old can opener. And behold, you have a custom mini portable apocalypse grill, deluxe edition, trademark, patent pending. You can grill anything from vegetables to the flesh of dead animals on this puppy. I've been eating lots of rat. It's super lightweight and way less cumbersome than that Weber grill. And that's how you make an apocalypse grill in the zombie apocalypse. Thanks everyone for stopping by and don't forget to click subscribe.